back on site we got two trees down for the count stacked up we got big boss Kamatsu 270 here we moved the driveway over a little bit now that I got those trees down so we'll be in this area a little bit better a little more comfortable coming in here um, and then we're, I'm going to end up probably taking all this good dirt out of here and then putting clay back in there because I need all that. This is all beautiful, 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 beautiful dirt. I shot elevation. This blue line right here is the road height, which was probably here. I already cut it down a foot. So roughly right there is the road so all that could come out. But look at this beautiful stuff, huh? All perfect size rock so i'm gonna go, come in here with the loader and just keep using it and then like i said i'll track and pack that with material i pull off site and i got a big pile at the yard anyways gotta use the good stuff while you got it yeah this is nothing but like a big skid steer so the thing grades and as that blade hits the bottom there it burns the surface which is like compacts the hell out of it but uh, I'll get in here with the roller now that I got this established and start beating it down. Didn't make no sense to have a roller in here too early because you're just going to get stuck with it and it don't make. You're tracking and packing and lifts with the dozer coming up. It's not like you're throwing in 10 foot lift, you know. So, working our way. We're using that bridge down there as our mark because that's where the... Um, that's where the culvert's going. I'm pretty sure the culvert's gonna be right at the face of that left of that bridge. Or actually in a little bit further. Um, because we gotta have a little bit shown. It's a 20 foot culvert, five, eight foot. I mentioned it in other videos. It's called a squash. It's eight foot round diameter. I smush it down like an egg. And it will be six foot tall then and 11 feet mouth at the bottom. So that should handle that crick, no problem. I mean, that section there is like washed sand. So I'm just taking it down here and placing it. That's it for now, you know, just uh, machines are leaving. Machines are leaving. They got to go to a site and dig another house. So I got two houses back to back within a week or two. So I really don't know when I'll be back here. bridge obviously it's just uh very narrow and has to be built up but it just at least we're there and we're gonna be dried up um which is awesome and i did all this we still got all the dirt up above to use i didn't even uh use that dirt yet this is all just the stuff that was on the sides and reshaped the driveway and stuff like that the loader's been coming in handy All right, midday the next day, just about uh, gonna let it set. These machines gotta get out of here and go on site. Got this all tracked and packed the way that feathered all in. I did move this driveway over probably five more feet, which centers me in my 80 feet just about, because I didn't want to do any damage to that tree. That tree's awesome. That's the, basically the corner. Originally, I was gonna take that down and put the driveway right down in here, and I would have like a flatter spot just for a quick second but i it just uh i don't know it is what it is kept pulling material out of there i kept trimming this putting a bunch here and it got me down to the water but 
I still gotta come up a lot. I'm eating an apple. <laughs> Don't mind me. I gotta come up um, basically where that sun starts again. It's gotta come up another couple feet because we're still diving down. We're down to zero there. We gotta be six feet high at water's edge to get into that culvert. And then all this, you know, all this is gonna have to get backed in. I mean, this is a huge drop here. If we gotta back this right to that stump pile, boom, 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 all this. We'll, we'll use material from off sites. You know, you know, I got a big pile at the yard now, but we'll get uh, some trucks to come in here. I got a connection to get some trucks and uh, we'll throw them on in, track them out. But this is good for now. Like I said, we'll be up here, this high right here. But this is so we can at least get in with our quads and keep doing what we gotta do. Because who knows when I'll get back on this. Back on site. Got new tires for the Busa. Oh, there's some fat boys. Starting at the road, just really no uh, rhythm or rhyme. I just shot elevations from road height to a spot where we started to go down, and that would be our level point. I don't even know what I want to do here. It's so, I don't know. It's like, I'm going to cut a lot of material out, but what are we going to do with the water? Because there is mega water that comes off that hill. You want to see the washouts I already had all over burden topsoil stuff and we'll be mixing this on the sides got a little dirt boss in the pusa day to get this done anyway he's got to mobilize to another site still loading overburden at least it's thick meaty broody stuff that won't wash out had a fire max a little dirt boss got fired don't want to pay attention or listen to directions you get fired uh, whatever still young a lot to learn Including me, <laughs> but gotta be safe. That's my big thing. Safety first. Three storms blew by. Got the door open. You guys might not be able to hear me that good. material it don't matter if it I mean obviously if it gets totally saturated it's uh spongy but for the most part everything should you be able to work right in the rain everything should hold together but it's coming down real good now I don't know how good this slope is that I'm going to be running I have some good washouts that's why I uh am back in the sides right now and the thing is Never, I've been so busy, I yet haven't been able to get back here. It's been months, you know, so I just kind of snuck the equipment in between jobs. Yeah, this really sucks now. Huh. It just is downpouring. Look at my road. At least I know what's going on. I haven't really been up here since we've had some big monsoons. 
and you get the trail washouts but for the most part like these banks because these banks right here all have that overburden and if they held right up you know when it runs down the face of the driveway obviously it's going to wash it out especially where it drops off those big embankments but that will all get taken care of when we back it and then we top this whole thing with some rock and put some drainage on the sides but always look at your projects when it's raining if you want to figure out the erosion quick water break she was thirsty a lot of overburden still piled up which is good we'll just placing it down there and I'll blade that off but boy this is you hear it we're getting serious pounding uh, bladed it out all back off
Oh, yeah. Corn rows. Tell me it don't look it. That worked out nice. Cleaning up my blade. Mixing it all together. This will be the final pass on this, and this will be my toe here and uh my drainage so i just got to get can't go into here because of the roots so i played that i pushed this off down in there i think i just got to get cut this lower and then if i'm not mistaken a lot lower <laughs> there's a site kabelko usa
got some piles piled up now. Back on site. Ready to rock. Got the Busa in position. Kaboko loading out. I already got two or three loads down there. Just uh, wash and repeat. That's it. Today, just going to load out. Load out. I'd like to get the Kenworth in here. I might. I just got to get a transition off the road so I can back it in. Be a lot of uh, awesome material though, huh? Look at this. Be a lot quicker, but boost is doing good. All right, just sitting up here on my property line. The, it's to the right of the bucket right here. So I can hog all this out, and I can even hog it 20 feet down and just fill it back in <clears throat> with my normal stuff I take off uh, job sites. I got a big stockpile, so when it comes to that, that's what I'll do. I could always dig down because this is great material and then just fill back in with my overburden clay and uh, stuff I pull off the sites, which is good. So I can get material when I need it to get across, to get that culvert in. I, I want to get the culvert into the creek, then I can get the loggers in here and have them log just before we get the wet season. Because right now it's dry in there where they got to get. And then uh, we'll be in good shape. But I'm just playing around here on this side for right now. I'm going to be switching over and getting up on top of that big pile. And uh, that's the play. Just pulling myself, getting ready for the next few loads so they're fast turnarounds. Just roaching the piles whenever you mix a pile in and disturb it it comes out of the truck better and packs better and the whole works and loads better get the crust off and mix a little of the overburden in with the because this stuff right here where i'm into is just there's like no silt in it it is so clean it can be perp wet as heck and uh it does no residue on your hand it even gets better as we go off the hill. This is the setup now. Perched up on the pile. Everything's pushed off down there. Bottom of the bed had water in it the other day, then I put the overburden in it. It's all stuck. Let's see how that does. Oh yeah, optimal loading right here. Full scoops and seeing back of the truck. If you ain't spilling, they're not full. Remember that. Obviously loading the Kenworth, you know, we're a little more careful. I'd love to get the Kenworth up here. I'm set up for it right now and I can bring in Three times the material at, the, at once, but the Busa loves it. I gotta treat the Busa good. It's good to me. Things are shaping up. We're getting shaped up. I've just boxed out along the whole road two foot and then I'm pushing this crown that we have here back in. This is all, was all good material. Just skimming some of that pile and taking the crown, bringing it right back to the road. Again, we notched that down two foot. I just pushed it left right, hog the top soil off, put it down there. Looking good. 
Almost to the top. She's looking good and flat. Top perch view up on the pile. Down there you see that orange. If you, I don't know if you guys can see the orange, but that's my attachment all the way across the creek. Need the skid steer here just to get up on the road, dress that all up that little bit, but I'll do it with the loader. Skid steer's up on the lake job. You guys will see that soon. In the loader. Big skid steer, that's what I call it. Same exact idea, just move a lot more dirt. Not getting full buckets here because I'm not, don't want to overload the road, just filling in that gap. The transition to the road is nice and looks flat, but it's got pitch. It's, I mean, I'm pretty tickled with it. Like I said, this whole thing, I've been doing it by just, every day it changes. I'm like, oh, should I do this, that? best way to do it is move dirt. Move dirt, you don't like it, put it back. One more scoop and that will get me to the road. Then I'll come in with the um, dozer, just track and pack it. Maybe bring the roller up and smack it down. Smack a dooski. But I wanted to keep you guys in the loop. Stay tuned to the channel.